the Senate and the House of Representatives are amending the electoral laws. A few months ago, the Senate, in its face of amendment, gave legal backing for the use of card readers in elections. Now, the House of Representatives is also in the process of amending the electoral laws and is meeting with interest groups to get their inputs on the areas up for amendment. It's more than two years since the last general elections in the country. The elections had its share of problems. Voters experience challenges with the electronic accreditation system. Election materials arrived late in some polling stations across the country. Violence erupted at some polling centers, resulting in the loss of life. The National Assembly is amending the Electoral Act as its way of addressing some of these problems. The Senate, a few months ago, amended the Electoral Act to give legal backing to the use of electronic voting and also address the lacuna in the Electoral Act over what happens if a candidate dies after votes have been cast, where the results have not been announced, as was the case in the Kogi governorship election. The Senate ruled that in the event that this happens, the party can conduct primaries to field a new candidate. The House of Representatives is also amending the Electoral Act. These representatives of government agencies, civil society organizations and other groups involved in the electoral process in the country are all gathered in the House of Representatives for a public hearing on 12 proposed amendments to the Electoral Act 2010. While acknowledging that the 2015 elections was an improvement to past elections, the lawmakers say more needs to be done. Experience has shown the good electoral system governed by an efficient and effective legal framework is an inescapable prerequisite for the conduct of free, fair, and credible election. Entronment of good governance, which will ensure peace and stability in the polity. Conversely, it is a globally established fact that a flawed electoral system is a huge threat to any democracy. And, and can constitute an invitation to anarchy. Making his own remarks, the deputy speaker points out that democracy remains the best form of governance. Having practiced democracy for 17 years unbroken, it's 18 years now, unbroken, I wouldn't know why some military people want to think that it is time again to come back to the governance of Nigeria. It's, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Democracy at its worst is still best, the best form of government. It is then time to hear from those gathered. The Nigerian Bar Association also supports the inclusion of diaspora voting in the electoral process. However, the exact time and period and mechanics of its introduction and realization must be left to the electoral management body uh, to decide. The Nigerian Bar Association also supports the amendments to Section 36 of the Electoral Act uh, 2010 as amended to give a political party the opportunity to conduct fresh direct or indirect primaries on the date of a candidate within a period of 14 days of the suspension of the election and the conclusion of such an election within a period of 21 days of the date of the candidate. We support the amendment of Section 9 of the Electoral Act uh, on continuous voter registration to make the registration truly continuous. Uh, this will enable those that attain the age of 18 years to register immediately, uh, which will eliminate the issues that um, uh, come with periodic uh, uh, registrations. Introduction of technology in accreditation and voting. We suggest that the amendment of, section, of the section to allow the use of any appropriate technological device in the accreditation and voting process. However, we must avoid naming the exact device in the law. As we are aware, technology keeps evolving and uh, keeps changing. It is very important that we have seen in this country 
a political party member leaves his political party in the morning, in the evening he becomes a member of another political party. That is morally wrong. Because when he goes into the public, he sells the manifesto of one political party. And when he comes into another one, he now jumps into the manifesto of another political party. If you must leave your political party, it is very important that when you leave, you leave the seat in which you have advocated for right from the beginning. So that if you are that popular, then you can convert for the population of our Ladies and gentlemen, on our own part, as leaders of political parties, we are the one that gave back to the golden egg in which you are seated here. So we are talking seriously. Your, the hen that gave back to you are suffering. You must take care of that particular hen so that you can produce more better eggs in the nearest future. We are saying that, that political parties, are poly, either in terms of their positions within the party structure, or list of candidates for elections must include 35% women representation. That INEC should reject that, that INEC should reject any list that does not include 35% for women. With the next general elections just two years away, it is pertinent that all problems which could mar the upcoming elections are addressed.